is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your uh, instant noodles over there. Um, this one's from Colson, Pakistan. Cha Chapada. 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 Fire Chapada. Let's make this happen. One is a four to five minute cup. I'm gonna give it five minutes. I just want to make sure it's done. It's one of those really tight. I, I think I'm doing a mukbang today. I don't know. I really don't. I think I do have two packs of this stuff, so maybe I'll do a mukbang later this week. I, I, don't, I don't think I really want to throw that much down. Oh god. No, you don't drain it. You don't drain it. Okay. It is one of those days. I'm trying to get crap done and it's just like getting away from me quick. So we're just gonna do this. Get Ah. All right. You sit there. I'll even push you down with a fork. I bet you're supposed to drain it. Eh? I don't know. I don't think you do. Okay. But you do need to set a timer if you want it to go for the right amount of time. So Alright. This is the last one I'm doing today. Here's the quote from Momo Fagrando Speaks. Quotations by the guy who invented the instant noodle. Number 257. Too much salt is bad for you, but no salt at all makes food bland. What is important is balance. True. Very true. That's what I could use lately is some balance because it's just like. Uh, horror. Freaking horrible. Let's see. I don't know how spicy this is gonna indeed be. I was all ready to do a mukbang of this and now I'm feeling kind of like, yeah. So like I said, there's another cup, so I'll give it a taste here and if it's pretty spicy, then I'll make the other cup and use it tomorrow. That would be the right thing to do, I think. Currently 63 degrees outside, beautiful sunny day. I gotta bake a cake. Help the kids make birthday cards. I made my wife a birthday card and it's drying right now. I think it came out good. I think so. We shall see. Yeah. Crayon, Sharpie, Bingo Dauber, and uh, Parchment. Yes. Experiment that came out all right. Uh, I'm beat. I'm beat. But yeah, it's Tuesday, and now with her birthday being today, it feels like it's probably like uh, it's Tuesday, but it feels like it should be like Thursday, or maybe or most likely Friday. Kind of weird when they throw you some kind of thing in the middle of the week but yeah, not a bad thing 
What's going on? Uh, a lot of unrest in Minneapolis, St. Paul. Uh, well, go figure. People seem to not care about their policing careers and just make bad, bad, bad choices. And uh, it makes all cops look really bad. And I know, I mean, it's just not the case. You know, there's a lot of great cops out there. And um, they're not all horrible people. Yeah. I would say probably a very small percentage of them are really, really like hardcore jerks. I would, I mean, I like to think that at least. But it's like I saw a couple cop cars this morning in a parking lot and they were hanging out and doing something. I don't know exactly what, but yeah, cops. You might not like them, but you know, when you need them, you're going to need them. You're going to want them to be around. That's for sure. Yep. I don't I don't really think that I, I think the whole concept of defunding police departments is really kind of stupid. I think probably that might be part of the problem in certain police departments. Or there's just like a culture of like being really bad. <laughs> I don't know. Note to self, don't move to Colorado because bad stuff happens there. Note to self, don't move to New York. Bad stuff happens there. And note to self, don't move to uh, Minnesota, to the Twin Cities, because bad stuff happens there as well. Let's give these a try. green chili thing going on. I'm really trying guys. I'm really trying to find the heat in this one. That's about as fiery as a cup of tea. No. No. And the bowl I was gonna use isn't gonna be used for this one. Not because of the heat factor, but because this is very light in color. So we're gonna use... Yeah, that's sad. I would have totally done a mukbang, but it's not spicy in the in the least. It's tangy. One might say it's piquant. Sorry about that, but I will not say it's spicy. No. No. I'll give it another stir. <laughs> it's calling it. Fiery. The only thing I could think of is that you drain the noodles. I really don't think you do. No. It's good.
Yeah, I mean... Uh, yeah, I wasn't even planning on garnishing this one because it was going to be fiery hot. It even says fiery on it. That damn fire has gone out and left the building. Needs some work. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not thrilled. When something says it's supposed to be fiery, ultra spicy hot, it should at least do something. That's that. I mean, it's from Pakistan. It's not super spicy. Nice tanginess, nice piquant kind of flavor. But it ain't what it's supposed to be, so. But anyways, this is Maz the Ramen Raider. Wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Try the stuff from uh, Pakistan. It's good. It's good. Fiery? No. Have a good one. Bye-bye.